Hello, my name is Dr. Sunny Kim of Tenafly Pediatrics. In this brief video, I will be talking about poison ivy. Poison ivy is a plant that contains the chemical urosiol. It is a clear liquid compound that is found in the sap of the plant, and it, when it leaks to the surface of the plant and is exposed to air, it turns blackish. Poison ivy can be found as a shrub, a trailing vine, or a uh, climbing vine on a tree or other support structure. There are three almond-shaped leaflets found on each stem. The colors of the leaves can range from light green when they are young to darker green as they mature and to red in the fall. The plant has no thorns and from May to June there can be uh, clusters of flowers that are yellowish to greenish whitish that are found above the leaves. Poison ivy can cause a contact dermatitis, which is an allergic reaction when the sap comes into contact with the skin. The sap may be on the plant or may be on an animal or an object that has come in contact with the plant, such as gardening tools, sports equipments, or clothing. Although direct contact is needed to have a reaction with the poison ivy, the sap may become airborne if um, it is being trimmed by a lawnmower or a trimmer, or if the plant is being burned. When poison ivy comes into contact with the skin, it can cause severe itching or burning, redness or swelling of the skin, or small blisters or vesicles that often form in the shape of a line where the skin was in contact with the sap. The blisters may ooze, drain, or crust. The sap usually enters the skin quickly and therefore person-to-person -person transmission is usually rare. The rash is not usually caused by fluid in the blisters. A spreading rash may mean that certain areas of the skin were exposed to more poison than other areas or that there is continuing contamination occurring from objects that were in contact with the plant. Symptoms can also affect the mouth and the eyes in addition to the skin. If poison ivy is inhaled, it can cause injury to the lungs and breathing difficulty. If poison ivy is ingested, it can cause injury to the mouth or the digestive tract. A poison ivy rash usually develops within a week of exposure, and it can last from anywhere from one to four weeks, depending on severity and treatment. Most people would become sensitized to poison ivy after repeated exposure, and in very rare cases, an anaphylactic reaction can occur. There is a small percentage of people who will not have an allergic reaction to poison ivy. Now I will discuss treatment. If you think you have come into contact with poison ivy, wash the affected areas of skin immediately with soap and water. Quickly washing away the sap can prevent an allergic reaction, but is usually not helpful if done more than an hour from exposure. Flush the eyes out with water. Small amounts of the sap can remain under the fingernails unless it is removed with very thorough cleaning. Once you have washed the sap off the skin, the rash is no longer contagious. Wash any articles of clothing or objects that may have come in contact with the plant alone in hot, soapy water. Be careful not to let it touch other objects or materials. You can use an over-the-counter hydrocortisone cream or ointment, 1%, two to three times a day to relieve itching. You can also use oral Benadryl for itching. In severe cases, contact your doctor as a corticosteroid pill may be necessary. Try to avoid scratching as it can lead to infection and scarring. Secondary bacterial infections can also occur, especially with constant scratching. If you notice increasing redness, swelling, tenderness of the skin, pustules, or fever, contact your doctor immediately. A few points to remember. Leaves of three, let them be. If you think you have come into contact with poison ivy, wash the affected skin immediately with soap and water. The sap can stay active on plants, even dead plants, for up to five years. For the first time exposure, the reaction can take for seven to 10 days to appear. Generally, every subsequent exposure will appear within 24 to 48 hours. 
If there are any other questions or we can be of assistance, please contact us at Tenafly Pediatrics.